Ironman a Tesla Model S. This is a Tesla Model S fitted with autonomous mode. Autonomous mode means that I can take my feet off the pedals and I can take my hands off the steering wheel. It only really works on the motorway. We're about to get onto the uh, M4, heading west to Bristol Way. Now I've been told by the friendly lady at Tesla not to be an idiot. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna actually take this video quite seriously and just show what the system really can do. Tesla's autonomous mode is a driving aid, okay? It doesn't mean that you can completely uh, switch off and let the car take over. This isn't a fully autonomous car. So to treat it that way would be stupid. Just heading onto the M4 now, and then I'm gonna pull and push some switches here, and then we're gonna have a little look. So as you can see, I'm currently driving at about 63 miles an hour behind a transit van in the middle lane of the M4. If I want to start the autonomous driving and if I don't want to be in control of the car anymore, what I first need to do is to pull this lever back like so. And what that does is it takes control of the pedal inputs. So basically it's radar guided cruise control. So I don't need to worry about braking or accelerating. I can also increase the speed like that, 75, 80 miles an hour. So if that van were to move, this car would accelerate to 80 miles an hour. If I want the Tesla to take over steering inputs, as I do now, then this lever gets pulled back twice. Doink, doink. And there we go. The car has taken over steering. No feet, no hands. <gasps> oh my God. This is so weird. What this system's aim is, is to stop driver fatigue. So when you're on a motorway like I am now, you can just relax a little bit more. You don't need to be focused on the car in front so much. So when you do get to the kind of twisty B roads and the town driving, you're more fresh. And that's a good thing. I'm not actually doing a whole lot of anything except for talking to you, maintaining eye contact. That's, that's weird. I'm not gonna test myself. Now, obviously this car is in its beta stage. So I have got Ethan in the back. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna talk to the camera behind me and Ethan is going to be watching the road, aren't you? Yeah. Okay, so. <laughs> this is so weird. Okay. So the system isn't completely flawless quite yet. Um, you, can, you can tell I just can't stop but looking in front of me. Um, the system does get quite confused with, um, with road markings. So if the road markings are quite poor, then the, the car won't recognise it and then you won't be able to use the, uh, the autopilot. So you need to remember that. Also, if there are curbs on the side of the road, the car thinks, what the f is this? I don't know what's going on. And finally, weird road surfaces. So if you go from a really smooth road surface to something that's a different color or something that's been patched up, the car will pretty much just shit itself. And then the system won't, it won't want to work and it'll probably switch itself off. Oh, this feels so weird. I can't do it. I can't do it. Oh. Now, where stuff starts to get interesting is if I want to change lanes. So there is a car in my blind spot at the moment, so I'm not going to go now. After this cash guy is gone, I'm going to indicate. There we go. And I need to hold the steering wheel. There are pressure points in the steering wheel. If I don't hold the steering wheel, then the car won't move. And then I also need to uh, cancel the indicator. And then you have changed lanes pretty badass. You can also choose how close you can get to the car in front. So at the moment I am on, twiddle this knob. So three car lengths, two car length, and then Audi length. So one car away. That's how I like to roll in my Tesla. Most accidents actually happen because of driver error. So if you're taking the driver out of the equation slightly on a motorway, then you're gonna reduce the likelihood of an accident, hopefully. Oh, okay, car's getting confused for some reason. Not quite sure, so I'm gonna hold on to the steering wheel. I think now I can let go. Yeah. Yeah, okay, so car is steering itself again. If I'm not in control of the car on the motorway, 
and the car is doing most of the donkey work, then I'm going to arrive at my destination refreshed, car in front's braking. I'm actually very, very confident about the whole braking thing. The steering thing is still quite a mind I say still, I've only been driving it like this for about 10 minutes, but it is really cool and I could certainly get used to something like this. Anyway, the autonomous system is getting more and more clever every single day. A million miles are being driven every single day by Teslas with the autonomy and it's sending information back to this big hub, which is telling the computers, okay, this is how this road looks. This is what that road looks. There's a curb, there's a piece of road that's really crap. So you need to avoid that. But it's kind of mapping itself every single day, just becoming bigger and bigger and bigger. This is basically a cool version of Facebook. It's becoming big and it's gonna take over the world. So how did the system work? Well, there are 12 sensors all the way around the car. There is a front facing camera and a rear facing radar, which basically tells the car exactly what's going on at all moments. If you have a look down here at this little uh, display, I can see the car is monitoring. It's saying there's a car there, there's a car, there's a barrier. And I can see also the car in front, which is a mini, but it's telling me it's a Tesla. So that's a lie. There's cops over there. I'm just gonna just have my hands up like that and I'm gonna talk. I would love it. I would love it, love it, love it if a cop car came and pulled me over and said, what are you doing? That would be immense. Because then I could say, I'm driving in autonomy, bro. I'm driving in auto mode, bro. <laughs> Good, what, it holds steering wheel. What happens if I don't hold steering wheel? I'm not holding steering wheel. Okay, this is cool. Sweet. Hold steering wheel, or what? What's gonna happen if I don't? Place hands on steering wheel to maintain, okay, right. So after a while, when the car tells you to hold a steering wheel and you don't, and then it tells you again to do it and you don't, uh, then it'll just completely slow down the speed. Uh, so you have to. You have to give in to Tesla. And if it gets to a point when you're all through with the uh, autonomous driving, all you need to do, grab the steering wheel, give it a bit of a tug, there you go. Now I'm in control of the steering, but the uh, radar guided cruise control is still doing its thing. Again, if I want the steering to uh, kick in, one, two, bang. Now usually for these reviews, Ethan will be behind the scenes filming me chatting about cars. Uh, but I decided let's change that up a little bit because this is not your average car review. Is it Ethan? No, Alex, it's yeah. not. So how do you feel about me driving, but not driving? I should feel really confident. I was a bit nervous. But when we just before we got on the motorway and then when we first set it up, but I actually think there's a lot of crap drivers out there. Yeah, I think this is actually probably better than a lot of people. Would you be confident being driven in this car? Yeah, I think so. Like, we've had a few not incidents but occasions where there's been some hard braking ahead of us and it's responded really well and it keeps the distance. Yeah, yeah, um, we've got Audi distance at the moment. Yeah, we <laughs> actually, I, I, it's really good. I think yeah. motorway driving isn't really driving it's just keeping your foot in one place and your hand still yeah it's, it, it, it drains you for and it's not that enjoyable personally I don't find it that enjoyable so I, what what would you be doing instead of driving if you had autonomous mode maybe just practice dancing probably you're probably finding me wouldn't you do you have a game of um, staring at each other to see who loses uh, we've it, done this once this a good idea? we've done this once in two guys one car and you idea? lost when you were driving it'll be fine Three, two, one, go. Back out, back out. Back out! Ah, yes! <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs>Now there are a lot of people on YouTube who are being really stupid, recording themselves in Holland from the back seats while the car is driving at about 55 miles an hour on the motorway. Now the Model S shouldn't actually be able to do that because there are pressure points in the uh, in the seat, and if you're not sitting on it, then the uh, then the autonomous system won't work. So I think we should probably try that. I'm not going to move seats. Don't worry. I'm just going to lift my bum. So I need a bit of slack on the old. Uh, Seat belt. Okay, so there's no pressure on the seat whatsoever. <laughs> okay, that was about three seconds. So yeah, you can 
let your car drive you if you really want it. But it's illegal, it's really stupid, and you're not gonna get any fans on YouTube, especially not car throttle. I tell you what, what the Tesla is really good for is, uh, is looking for female companions. So you know when you're driving around and you wanna have a little look, if you see a blonde head or so, you're like, hmm, I wonder if she's quite cute. In this car, you can have a glance and you can look around and you can give her a wave. It's brilliant, absolutely brilliant. So here we have, to our left, a Morgan. A beautiful baby blue color, which we're going to admire. That is a good, strong color. It's brilliant. I can bird watch. I can also car watch. Hello, how are you? I'm turning around. <laughs> And one overriding thought that I've got in my head is that usually I'm on the motorway and I like to drive fairly quickly. I'm usually in the fast lane, trying to get traffic out of the way so I can get to my destination as quickly as possible. But with autopilot, I'm cruising at the moment at 57 miles an hour and I'm not bothered. I'm not thinking, oh, move out of the way. I want to get to my destination. I'm so relaxed and I'm really confident. I know that this system is still in its beta phase, but I'm driving here Actually, no, I'm not. <laughs> That's the thing. I'm not driving at all. I'm being driven and I'm not worried. Great thing about this car is that every single day it's learning. This is like a small child, a little two-year-old child that's literally just absorbing all of the information around it like a big sponge. And it's, it's really, really impressive. I, I can't wait to see what this car is like in a year, two years time and the million miles that these cars are doing every single day to then feed that information into one big brain, that's gonna be 10, 20, 30 times as large. And it's gonna be so much more clever. Everything is fly-by-wire. It really is mind-boggling what Tesla has achieved. I can maintain eye contact with you guys for quite a lot longer. Of course, law and general being a human dictates that I need to look in front of me occasionally, but the car is doing everything and I'm completely confident. It's a great feeling. And this car makes motorway journeys so much better. Now you can follow your favorite YouTubers, publishers, and citizens on Car Throttle. Just sign in with Facebook and join the fastest growing car community online. Click the I in the top right corner and get started. I wanted to build something really unique. And you know, all the cars that we see in this modern life we're living, you see many cars that the money can buy in the shops, but you don't really see many cars that have been built from scratch. Something, I really wanted to build something really unique.